Welcome back everybody. This is Mitchell here from Dad Level 1. So today we're going to be answering the question, is a $9 blowgun really worth buying? Is it, is it worth it? Now you know what I'm talking about, the blowguns. You see them, the tribal warriors hunting stuff with it. Okay, there's this cool site that I go on to. Um, I'll put the link down in the description below. By the way, this is not an advertisement form by any means. I just like it. It's cool, cool stuff. So, basically, I saw a blowgun on there, and it was $8.99, okay? Not only that, it was buy one, get one free. So, $8.99, you got two of them, okay? So, this is it. Right here. It's an 18-inch blowgun. Okay, I'm bringing it a little closer for you guys. It's got a little spot for darts here and here. I don't really put them back there because I feel like if I'm holding the handle here, I'm going to stab myself. But this is the Predator Blowgun. So, I bought it more out of curiosity. Um, it's good. I mean, it was nine, nine bucks. It was eight ninety nine. I'm like... So, I didn't have very high hopes for it at all. So, um... I decided to give it a shot. I got two of them. And one for my fiance. That way it's okay that I got them. See, you gotta be smart, guys. So, yeah, it shoots these little, well, not really little, but little skewers. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it really quick. Let's see if these things are as fun as, as they say. Okay. I'm gonna try to, I guess, shoot it in the fence here. <laughs> ah. A little harder to get out. Jesus. Okay. That just stuck about, I want to say about that far into the fence. Doesn't seem like a lot. But they don't really give you much room to grab so it's a little bit difficult getting out of the fence without bending it but it, the tip didn't even bend this thing is cool and seriously you just drop it in a little click noise that it makes when it's in there right I guess there's a little there's a little ridge in there that way you don't when you're sitting there you don't suck in the blowgun dart this is this is cool though Let's see. <laughs> so I got a little box target that my camera is currently sitting on, and it went that deep into the box target. Okay, my all-around opinion on this: this thing is fun. Okay, this thing has a little crosshair, as you can see there. A little crosshair on it. Not sure if I agree with that crosshair. I mean, it's not like you got it off centered where you can sit there and look through the crosshair and pinpoint something, you know. That's not how you shoot a blowgun. So I personally don't know about the crosshair, but I mean, all right, let's try it. Before I say anything, let's give it a shot. No, no, that's it. I'm really trying to get it out again. Yeah, no. Uh, I'm gonna say no on the crosshair. I think it's kind of pointless. I think it might just be for looks anyways. But all around for nine bucks for two of them, I would say it's probably worth it. It's kind of it's fun. This thing has enough power, I would say, to take down like a squirrel or something, you know, because they got different tips other than, than just these little pointed ones. They got ones with little mini broadheads on it or little spear tips and stuff like that. So I think if your aim, that's key here, you gotta get your aim down. Now I'm not saying that I can just right out of the package go and try to shoot a squirrel. Probably ain't gonna work. But this is still fun. This is pretty fun. Now I'm just gonna have to get like a dart, a dart board or whatever, hang it up in the in the studio. A nice little way to pass time. But this is pretty, pretty cool. And that's $8.99 for two of these. <laughs>
I'm gonna say this is this is a good a good buy. I'll post a link down there. You guys can check it out for for yourself. But it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's definitely cool. But yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get my fiance at some point to open hers up and shoot it. She shot mine, and she then pointed it at me and acted like she was gonna shoot me. So I'm kind of worried about her having one now. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm just going to make sure that she doesn't have it in her possession when I make her mad. But all around, this is pretty, it's pretty fun. I mean, yeah, let's get some more shooting. So, I just shot one of the little, you know, knots in the in the wood, the little eye looking, whatever it's called. Don't judge me. It did not bend it, but it didn't penetrate it either. It bounced off and then flew into the ground, into the ground, and then penetrated the ground. So probably don't hit those. Did it again. <laughs> That's a cool little thing, though. That's cool. You can see him right over there, stuck in the fence. That's pretty fun. That's pretty fun. I feel like a damn tribal warrior. I mean, I don't come out of nowhere and just. Fun thing. By the way, a little disclaimer. I should, I don't feel like I should have to say this, but I'm going to. This is not a toy. So by no means point this at somebody. Because it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, that ain't going to feel good. Would you want one of those getting stuck in your arm or cheek or wherever else someone's going to try to point it at? No. But this thing is strong. For, for a little 18-inch, this thing is pretty strong. It also depends on your lungs, too. How hard can you blow on it? Um, yeah, that sounded wrong. Oh, well, you know what I mean. Fun, fun little little toy, though. No, I just said it's not a toy. Not a toy. It's an adult toy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's cool. I like it. I like it. Here, I'm going to take camera over here. I'm going to show you a little dart here. Check, check that out. <laughs> cool little thing. Definitely worth the buy, I think. But anyways, thanks for tuning in, Dad Level One. You know, stay tuned. The videos are gonna be coming out a lot more often again. Uh, anyways, uh, I'll try not to shoot myself. I don't know how I would do that, but you know, it's me. I might at some point, or my fiance is gonna shoot me. Uh, but anyways, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll see you guys next time, and peace out.